Hi, Dr. Joe here, and I want to talk about some recommendations I see in the golf swing. As someone who studies biomechanics, makes me nervous. <laughs> and it's this idea of sticking the butt way back and or dropping the chest way down. Now, luckily, most of the instructors I work with, I love, they're, they jive with biomechanics very well. They talk about a posture that's typically right here. Nice, strong, stable, upright athletic position, but not too much bend. However, a lot of times I see a coach that you want to stick your butt back and or your chest drops down. Now, what that does from a physics perspective is it makes the lever arm longer, right? Let's just say this is our seesaw, right? If I want to create maximum movement here, do I push here or do I push out here? I can push there and create some movement, or I can lengthen the lever, create much more force. So when we stick our butt back and chest chest drops down, our lever arm between where we end up and our shoulders and our center of gravity, which is S2, our sacral spine segment two, is this long. If I'm in this more upright position with a little bit of hinge, my lever arm is now that long. So a lot smaller. So the forces aren't gonna be amplified as much if we're really bending down. That also has some implications in the thoracic and cervical spine or your neck, but that's for a different video. The second thing I see it do is really encourage extra extension in the back. If I'm bent really far down and I come to hit, a lot of times what happens is the chest is starting to come up as I come through, and I've got this big scooped out arch in the lower back. That creates a lot of compression on the spine. If you've seen some of my previous videos, it also closes the facet joints in the lower back, which creates a lot of force and a lot of discomfort. Whereas if I'm coming through in golf and I'm getting this way and I've got this pelvis tucked under and I'm creating this rounded position, which opens the facet joints. And this is what you see from most of those players on tour as they come into strike post your tilt of the pelvis. They're starting to even lift off the ground, especially as we see the long ball getting more and more important. So again, the problem with this bend, as I often see it come with this excess extension through the lower back and spine, which creates some discomfort. Hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know.